Hi guys, Jen here with How Jen Does It. Today I am sharing cleaning and organizing hacks from the Dollar Tree. I love using Dollar Tree bins for organizing just about everything in my home. They are fantastic. But today I wanted to share some organizing and cleaning hacks that I think you will find to be very helpful. This is a collab with Micah Stoffer. I'm sure a lot of you know Micah, but if you don't, you definitely need to check out her video and her channel. She is so sweet and genuine and beautiful. She has four little children who are adorable. She does cleaning and organizing videos she does lifestyle mommy videos so I'm sure she has something that you will enjoy on her channel so I will link her video and channel in the description box below if you are coming over from Micah's channel welcome I'm so glad you took the time to stop by I am Jen and if you enjoy this video I would love to have you stick around and subscribe to my channel okay I am going to go ahead and get started with with the hacks. The first hack is using this silicone oven grabber from the Dollar Tree to clean your makeup brushes. They sell things marketed to clean your makeup brushes that are pretty much exactly like this, but they cost seven to $10 and sometimes even more. And this one from the Dollar Tree will do a great job at cleaning your makeup brushes. There are little grooves in there, so they're really gonna get all of that makeup off and keep your hands clean. Next up, I have two hacks that work for your Swiffer Sweeper. So you can use a microfiber cloth, which I have been doing for a long time. You can just push it in to the little grooves there, just like you would with the disposable cloth. But one of my viewers recently told me that she uses a fuzzy sock from the Dollar Tree and you can just put it on, it stays on there, it does a great job of dusting your floors, and then when you're done, you can just toss it in the wash. So you aren't repurchasing those cloths all of the time and you only spent a dollar and it works so well. If you've ever repotted a plant or a cactus, you know that dirt can get on that cactus and you really have a hard time cleaning it off without pricking your fingers. You also can get dirt into the grooves of leaves and you want to be really careful with them, but how do you get it off? So I have found that a paintbrush or even an eyeshadow brush, both can be found at the Dollar Tree, works amazingly well. You can get right in there, get all of that dirt off, and it is such a great hack. So the next time you have to repot a cactus or you find a little dirt on your plant and it's hard to get off, just use a Dollar Tree paintbrush or an eyeshadow brush. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I really like to use white distilled vinegar to clean my windows, glass, and mirrors. It works so well. I haven't found a glass cleaner that I like better than vinegar. You can use these spray bottles from the Dollar Tree and you can even find white distilled vinegar at the Dollar Tree as well. I usually fill the spray bottle a third to a half of the way with vinegar and then fill up the rest with water. It works so well. If you don't like the smell of vinegar, which does dissipate after a little bit of time, I don't even notice it anymore, but you can add a little bit of essential oils in there. So if you have like a lemon essential oil, lavender, or a citrus scent, that would be perfect, but it's not even necessary if you don't mind the smell of vinegar. But trust me, it works so well at cleaning your glass, mirrors, and windows. I have been doing this next hack for years. I keep a pencil bag from the Dollar Tree in my car with restaurant coupons and store coupons to stores like Bed Bath & Beyond. And that way I don't leave it in a drawer at home or leave it somewhere and I have all of them in one place so that if we go to a restaurant and we want to use a coupon, they're all with us in the car. If I am shopping, I have all of those store coupons right in my car and not left at home in a drawer. I also keep one of these pencil pouches in my binder for 
all kinds of things. I have one that I keep the little cards that come when you plant flowers. I will keep all of them in there and that way I can remember what I planted and any special instructions. It's just a great place to keep everything together. I also will keep one at Christmas time for all of my Christmas receipts because that way they are separate from my everyday receipts and if someone needs a receipt to return something, I have it right in that pouch. I also keep one if I am doing a project. So if I am decorating something, for example, I will keep the paint samples in there and the swatches for fabric and things like that all in that pouch. And that way it's all together. It's not crammed in drawers or in my purse or wherever. It's all together and it only costs a dollar to get yourself so organized with these pencil pouches. They actually have command hooks at the Dollar Tree. I use command strips and command hooks for a lot of things and they can be a little pricey, so it's so nice that they have them at the Dollar Tree. These are great for hanging up your measuring cups and measuring spoons on your cabinet door so that way you can just grab it right off the hook. You don't have to rummage through a drawer to find it. You can also use a command hook and a gift bag from the Dollar Tree for the garbage in your car. Just having a place to put it all is so nice, but using this hook with the smaller gift bag is great because that way it's not rolling all over the floor or whatnot. It has a specific place. It will stay right there. And then when it's full, you can just take it off and empty it. And it was only a dollar. I found this mitt at the Dollar Tree in the automotive type of things section and it was designed for washing your car but I thought this was such a perfect duster. You can use this to dust the top of your doors, you can use it for dusting ceiling fans, you can even let each of your kids have one and let them go to town and maybe it will be a little fun. Maybe. I've also been doing this for years. I have a binder ring from the Dollar Tree. I think two to three come in a pack for a dollar and I keep all of my hair ties on there. It's such a great way to keep your hair ties and that way they're not jumbled in a drawer or whatever. You can see exactly what you have on there. I just have all brown ones, but if you have little girls, these are so great for organizing hair ties. I think these sunglass cases from the Dollar Tree are a great way to store and separate cords and chargers for your phone, your camera, your computer, or whatever chargers you have. They are great to keep them separated so they're not all jumbled up. You can put a label on them so you know exactly what that cord is for. I think these are a great thing to use for traveling so that your cords aren't getting uh, mixed up with your clothing and things in your suitcase and that way they're labeled and separated. So I love this hack. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite hack was from this video. And if you haven't already, be sure to head over to Micah's video and check out the hacks that she has to share. If you aren't subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe. And if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching guys.